Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making chocolate pudding pie. This recipe is whole food plant-based, refined sugar-free, nut-free, and delicious. I adore this recipe because it's so simple to whip up and it makes a really lovely pie, as you guys can see. It's no bake and it's a big hit with everyone who's whole food plant-based or not. I also love that the main ingredient is sweet potatoes and it's really similar to our chocolate pudding recipe which I will have linked above. I hope you guys will enjoy this. Everything is written down in our description box below and you guys are going to love it. So stay tuned for this awesome recipe. Starting off with our crust, you're gonna need a food processor. I have one and a half cups of rolled oats. I also added some unsweetened non-dairy milk. It ends up being one fourth cup. I'll add some extra, as you'll see in this video. Um, it really just depends on your date ratios for the crust, but we'll get into that in a second. I did half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of allspice, and then eight to 10 of these pitted dates. These dates were very small that I found at my grocery store, so I needed more of them. If you used a medjool date that is larger, you're gonna need less. The goal is to make the crust to be kind of that it holds together when you pinch it. Here you'll see that I tried to and it wasn't quite there yet, so I need to add a little bit extra of the non-dairy milk. So again, that's one fourth of a cup total. It just depends on your dates and how big they are and really if it sticks together. I'll have all the measurements written out in the description box below. Once it kind of can stick together, you see here, that's how you know it's it's done. And again, it's kind of, you kind of have to try with your ingredients at home. It kind of varies again on the dates, um, but this worked perfect. So everything really stuck together. And most times when I make this crust, I'm eyeballing it whenever I'm doing it, but I wanted to make sure we wrote out the directions for you guys. So everything is down in the description box and on our website. So you're just gonna press it down into a pan. I have the silicone pan here I'm using and I'm just pressing it out flat. If you want sides to your crust, you can double this recipe and it'll give you a thicker crust. But this was perfect for what I was looking for. So just press that in, set that aside. Grab your blender, we're gonna make the chocolate pudding part. So this is two cups of an unsweetened non-dairy milk. This is a little bit more than our pudding recipe, so we wanted a thicker pudding pie. <laughs> and then here I have these dates, again, they're the really small ones, so it can be six to 10 pitted dates, depending on if you have medjool dates or whatever kind you're using. That's really to sweetness, so you can taste as you go. This is three-fourths cups of an unsweetened cocoa powder. And then for our sweet potatoes that I have, I took the skins off after I've roasted them, and that was three cups of sweet potatoes. And that is um, a packed cup that I measured it out. So you can, again, I would, I would use maybe four to five dates and taste as you go so you can find the correct amount of sweetness that you like. This was perfect for us. You're gonna blend it until it's nice and smooth. It should be a significantly thicker pudding uh, when you go to do this, so it should be nice and thick. If your blender's having trouble, of course, you can add some more of that non-dairy milk to help it. Then spoon it out into your pan, and it's pretty much finished. What we're gonna do is stick it now into our refrigerator to firm up. So I like to let it sit for around two to three hours before serving. And there you have it. It's super easy, quick, uh, simple. It makes the perfect pie. And you can keep it in your freezer and pull it out and let it thaw out in your refrigerator to when you're ready to have a slice. That's usually what we do with a large pie or bring it to a party, but this has been a hit overall. And after, I would say, two to three hours of letting it set up in your refrigerator, you're ready to enjoy. I store the extra in our freezer and just let it thaw in our refrigerator so I can enjoy this pretty much any time. We generally have a pie in our freezer, um, but it's just the perfect little treat. And so I love the crust and the chocolate pie. It's delicious. So I'm going to take a bite. It sets up wonderfully. It's a nice thick pie. It's just like the perfect treat. If you were a fan of chocolate pudding pies, give this, a, give this a try. It's airy and creamy and chocolatey, a hint of sweetness. You can literally make this as sweet as you'd like. And yeah, just that texture 
as such a winner for us. So I hope you guys will make this for your family, for yourself, and I hope you guys will subscribe. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, twice a week, and I'd really love to have you as part of our community. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys very soon. This is such a good recipe. Make sure you try it out. See you next time. Bye.